All right, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapar coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Alahaya Nawa Bahashim Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. You know, it's power in those names, man. Uh, what I wanted to get a lesson on is going to be a quick hit. You know, you know, and we'll ask ourselves, what have these women done with their freedom? Hey, they've done wickedly, which is in their, which is what's in their nature. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to get this particular scripture in the spirit might have it so I grab other precepts. Uh, ask Aki and the bear with me, Baba Kwasa, and they, Lord willing, it's satisfying. Uh, yeah, I still, what's that scripture? Yeah, let's see. Because the scriptures tell you, give not a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. You know, and when you give a woman freedom, she doesn't know how to uh, deal with that much power. It's not for her to have that much power over her own self. You know, when you go back into the scriptures, man, and the elder, elder Apostle Bar brought this out, I'll never forget it, man. A woman had to make sure a vow that she wanted to make to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai was acceptable to her husband or her father. You're under the you're under the authority of your father until you get to your husband. So it was order, you know, in the ancient world, man. We don't have that. These women, they get to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And Esau has given these women, uh, these wicked women, liberty to get abroad. Now, um, ain't no good woman. Ain't no such thing as a good woman. They all got us some wickedness in them, some more than others. But, you know, the scriptures tell you that all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. You know, that's why you see all women out here acting the way they goddamn do. You know, uh, shaking their ass at stoplights, eating crab bulls, and, you know, uh, pushing all this spiritual uh, adultery. You know, sp pushing all this spiritual idolatry. You know, getting into these crystals, worshiping crystals. You know, uh, hey, hey, just, you know, pushing that Jezebel spirit heavy, man. You know, this is what women do when they get freedom. They don't know how to handle all that power. They don't They don't need freedom. They need structure. Hey, children, I mean, women and children kind of go into that same category. They need somebody to look after them. They need a man to guide them. Both of them do. You know, that's why when you take a man out of the household, nothing good ever comes from that. But anyway, this is a... Uh, Ecclesiastes 25, and uh, let's see. We'll start at verse 24. This is Ecclesiastes 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So, yeah, Adam didn't go off. Adam wasn't deceived. Eve was deceived. And Eve has been deceived in this time by the serpent, who is Esau, man. Women's live, child support, uh, uh, housing, you know, uh, welfare, all these different foods, all these different programs and things that they kind of push for you to have the man outside of the house if you're going to be getting this type of help. And these women choose this type of help over having a man. Then they later complain about having no heads when you got rid of the heads. You know, so Eve is, is, is fucking through, man. And a lot of them are starting to come to that realization. And that's where you'll have Isaiah 4 and 1 come in. You know, you're going to have women out here that's going to realize, I don't have a job anymore. Um, the man who I was with, he got sent to war. You know, hey, I'm just giving out, you know, uh, scenarios. These are things that are going to happen. Y'all brothers and, and, and y'all husbands are going to get sent to war and gonna, they're going to die in war. You know, a lot of y'all just going to, you know, hey, the Lord going to be putting two-thirds to death, man. You know, so he going to leave some of these women for the men of y'all about some y'all shot. Women that the Spirit allows us to see fit. Because, it, hey, in, in that time, during that time, Isaiah 4 and 1, man, if a brother don't see you fit, he not going to, we not just going to pick up the garbage. <laughs> And carry the garbage with us into the kingdom. Nah, man, we're going to 
you know, uh, deal with women that, 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 you know, they, you know, uh, at least half as decent, man, spiritually as well. You know, the Lord going to put the spirit on us to know who deal with, who not to. But anyway, Salaki, I mean, this is, I mean, Salaki, this is Ecclesiastes 25 and 24, you know. So basically, um, the woman, you know, she, hey, 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 she started this, this, this uh, sin. The beginning of sin came from the woman, not from Adam. Adam wasn't in the transgression because he wasn't deceived. But Eve was deceived. And that goes to show you why, you know, a woman should always be under the authority of a man. Y'all, when, especially when y'all by yourselves, women are fucking gullible, man. You know? It says, uh, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get a bride. When you let these, like, man, say, uh, you, you know, you, these women get out. They they get they get to somewhere where they can party and do this and that, and they do the wildest shit. They have sex with random guys. That's what they do with their freedom. They do random drugs. You know, um, hey man, pretty much freedom to a woman is just pushing whoredom and embracing that spirit of whoredom. You know, so man, that's what these women. Hey, check out Amber Rose, the slut walk. That's what these women have done with their with their freedom, man. Nothing righteous has come from, has come from giving a woman freedom to do any damn thing. You know, I'm gonna read on down just to get this point in this precept, Ecclesiastes 25 and 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce. A divorce, let her go. Hey, man. Uh, <clears throat> If you dealing with a woman, man, and she hindering you, and it's true, she just a goddamn nag. You know, you you will know when a when Satan getting on a woman to fuck with you because it's constant. It ain't no breaks in between, and you know she picks with you about the stupidest shit, man. Hey, if if, if she go not as thou would uh, if thou wouldst have her, cut her off from thy flesh. Hey, if she don't want to act right, man, leave the bitch alone, man. Because see. If you stick around in that situation for too long, you could end up with Esau as a mediator, which would result in you being thrown in jail because they're not taking that woman to jail. I ain't what I, I won't say that they have and they will, but man, they 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 main goal is to get Jake the hell up out of there, man. You know, just a word of advice to brothers: never move in with a woman. You know what I'm saying? Never move in with a woman, man. Now. If it's your mother, your aunt, and y'all got a different type of familial relationship, that's that's cool. But even then, you know, we as men of y'all watch me outside. We always got to be looking to the Lord to, uh, so to speak, have us in our own home with solitude. Hey, solitude is a huge requirement for this truth, man. That's why sometimes you got to be willing to, you know, uh, forsake time with your children, time with your woman, to, to, to spend time with Sophia. And hey, that, that might piss a lot of people in your life off, but hey, it is what it is. Our job is to keep your house, is to stay on your house by some y'all side's good side, man. You know, but yeah, man, uh, hey, don't move in with no woman. Hey, that, 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 that'll that be the, the, the one of the biggest mistakes you ever made. You know, get your own little spot. Even if it's a, like the scriptures talk about um, uh, having a mean college. A mean cottage is, is better than delicate fare in another man's house. Hey, man, you can have a little raggedy ass little one bedroom apartment, but it's yours, though. You know, and can't nobody throw you out. Can't nobody come in there and overthrow you. You, you know, so it's, it's, it's perks that come with having your own spot, even if it ain't the best spot. But you know, man, uh, I done been through that, man. You know, every time the bitch get mad at you, gonna be, you gonna be getting put out. You know, so. But yeah, that was that was pretty much. Uh, I could grab some other precepts, but I'm not gonna make this long and drawn out. I might do a part two. You know, but that was pretty much it for this lesson. You know, man, that's what Eve has done with 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 you know, her liberty, man. So I'm going to go ahead and close out with that. 
and Lord willing, this is edifying unto the next one. I say, Shalom.